In this video, we'll write the balanced net ionic equation for AlOH3 plus H2SO4, aluminum hydroxide plus sulfuric acid. First thing we do for net ionic equations, we balance the molecular equation. This is our molecular equation here. I'll put the coefficients here. There's a link in the description for this video if you need some help balancing it. We have 2, 3, 1, 6. So that's the balanced molecular equation. Next, we need to write the state for each substance. So aluminum hydroxide. Hydroxides in general are not soluble, with a few exceptions of group 1 metals like sodium hydroxide or potassium hydroxide. So this is not going to be soluble. It's going to be a solid. Put a little S there. Sulfuric acid, that's a strong acid. It dissolves in water, dissociates into its ions. We're going to put an AQ for aqueous. Aluminum sulfate, sulfate's in general, soluble, so a little AQ. And then water, that is a liquid. So we have the states. Next, we split the strong electrolytes into their ions, and that'll give us the complete ionic equation. When we do net ionic equations, we don't split solids. So we're just going to write 2 Al. OH3, and I won't write the states right now. We'll write those when we're done. For H2SO4, hydrogen, group 1, has a 1 plus charge, and this entire sulfate ion has a 2 minus. That's a good one to remember. So I have 3 times 2. That's 6 of the hydrogen ions. Then for the sulfate, I have 3 sulfate ions. And those are the reactants. For the products, aluminum, that's a 3 plus ionic charge. The sulfate, 2 minus, as we said before. So we have two aluminum ions and then three sulfate ions. We don't split liquids apart either in net ionic equations. That's just 6H2O. So this is the complete ionic equation. Now we can cross out these spectator ions. They're on both sides of the complete ionic equation. So they haven't changed. We're not really interested in them. The only thing that I see that's the same in the reactants and the products, these three sulfate ions here. So I'm going to cross those out. And that gives me the net ionic equation. I'll clean it up and write the states in, and we'll have our net ionic equation for AlOH3 plus H2SO4. And this is the balanced net ionic equation for aluminum hydroxide plus sulfuric acid. A key part of doing this is when you find this aluminum hydroxide here, you need to know whether things are going to be soluble or insoluble. So in the case of aluminum hydroxide, because it's insoluble, we have a solid, and we don't split it apart in our net ionic equation. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.